try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm going to do a what's in my hospital bag. I'm also going to show you what is in baby's diaper bag. So this is my third baby and I'm having a baby boy and I am going to be having him in four days, I think, Saturday I'm having him, and it is Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, five days I'll be having him, so I have my hospital bag packed, and I thought I would share with you guys what I have in it. This is my hospital bag, and it is super heavy and packed to the brim. I really probably don't need all of this stuff, but I'm one of those people that likes to pack for, like, in case anything, in case I change my mind, I never know what I might need and I need to be prepared. So <laughs> that's kind of what I have going on here. But I got this bag at a boutique online. I'll try and find the link for you guys and share it in the description box. But it was like $45. So very inexpensive. It is very large and it has a nice strap for your shoulder if you want to carry it longer. And then the shoulder straps as well. So this is what the bag looks like, but I'm going to show you what I have in it. So I did buy packing cubes off Amazon. I'll link those as well. They come in a bunch of different patterns and colors. If you don't like this pattern or color, they definitely have several to choose from, but it comes with a ton of these packing cubes and this is the first time I'm using them. I'm really excited because I like how I can organize everything into categories and so it'll be easier to find. So I'm just going to go through each one and show you what I have. First thing I have is my laptop. I'm just borrowing my daughter's laptop case. So I just have the charger and my laptop in here. I don't know if I'll use it, but if we want to watch movies or something, that way I'll just have it. Like I said, I want to be prepared. Probably don't need it, but I am going to bring it. And then I do have a little pack in here for my husband. If he is able to make it, which we hope he is able to make the birth, um, because he is currently deployed, but we're trying to get him home. Um, but I did go ahead and pack him this little bag of bathroom stuff. So I got this at Target in the like travel section where they have like all the trial size stuff. And inside of it, I just put all of the little necessities like deodorant, um, body wash. I got some Advil because he tends to get migraines. Um, let's see. And then a little portable travel size toothbrush, a little toothpaste, and some shampoo. And that way he doesn't have to worry about, because he's already going to be living out of bags when he gets here. That way he doesn't have to worry about packing a bathroom bag. I've already got it. So he just has to pack a change of clothes, basically. So I've got everything he needs in there. And then um, I do have this empty laundry bag that came with the packing cubes so this will just be for like dirty clothes it came with like three but i'm only going to bring this one okay so here is my first cube and inside of this one and i'm as you can see i have plenty of room left in there to pack more but i definitely don't need more but in this one this is my um like nightgown slash like cozy clothes so i have this nightgown this is from Target. It's the Stars Above brand. I love this nightgown. So soft. I have four of them now. So I have two black and then I have a pink striped one and the navy one. And they're just so comfortable, nursing friendly. So I packed that. And then I brought a robe and it's just this one from Pink Blush Maternity. Um, I just love the color. It's pretty. I don't know if I'll wear it or not, but I wanted to have it and then I have my hospital gown so I did purchase this on Amazon and um, they have a ton of different patterns and colors but I chose this one I thought it was really pretty so that is my hospital gown and I do plan to change into this and labor in it um, I know some people put them on after but I don't care if it gets ruined because I'm never gonna wear it again ever <laughs> um, this is our last baby so if it gets ruined it gets ruined I don't foresee myself ever wanting to wear it again so it doesn't really matter 
All right, and then I have this packing cube, and I love that they have handles so you can grab them and go. This is the biggest one that came in the set. So in this one, I have my more like actual clothes. So I have just packed two outfits. Um, I have this cardigan here. Um, where is this from? This is from Target. So I have a cardigan with a nursing tank, and I believe this is from Amazon. This is a, just a black nursing tank and then some black jogging pants. I love these, they're so soft. These are from Amazon as well. They're very, very soft material and they look really cute on, but they're really comfortable. So that is just one outfit in case I do decide to put clothes on. Probably not going to, to be honest, but I have it in case. And then I have a going home outfit. And really either one of these could be my going home outfit. I just have two options, I guess. So I have some leggings. These are from Amazon as well. Again, really, really soft. They're the Yogalicious brand. And they're just regular. They're not maternity. Um, but I did try them on and they fit me now. So they'll fit me. And then this sweatshirt here that just says Mama. And I think I got this on Etsy maybe. I'm not really sure. But it's a really comfy sweatshirt. I love it. So I figured that would just be cozy. So I will just wear leggings and that sweatshirt. And then I'm only going to have the shoes that I wear there. So those won't be packed. So whatever I wear to the hospital is what I'll wear home from the hospital. And then in this packing cube, this is my smaller one. And this has all of my like underwear um, slash bras in it. Now I did bring lots of options because I have lots of options. So... The first one is these Always Discreet Boutique, um, they're kind of like diapers, but they have like a pad here, and I've heard nothing but good things about these. When I watch What's in My Hospital Bag, a lot of women say that these are awesome. I've also heard women say these are great when you're on your period to sleep in and things like that, so I wanted to try them. So I do have just two packed, just in case. I know they give you the mesh panties at the hospital, and I like them. Um, they are fine for me and it may be all I use, but I wanted to have options like I said, so I do have three different options. My mom got me for Christmas the Freedom Mom postpartum kit, which is highly, highly rated. A lot of women say that all of that stuff is really good, so I'm really excited. These are the little panties that came in there. Um, they're like boxer shorts. They're really soft, but they're like super stretchy. And I've heard great things about these. There was like six, I want to say like six pairs in there. So I have some for when I get home too. But I went ahead and just packed two in case. Um, and then I got these on Amazon in a pack of I want to say six. And these will be great for once I get home. But I am bringing a couple pairs to the hospital. And they're just black and they are high-waisted. And I honestly wear these now and they're really comfortable. They fit over my belly. So I love those. I'll try to link everything that I can in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, and then I just have two nursing bras. So I have this one from, Tar um, not Target, from Amazon as well. I have two sets of these. They come in sets of three, I think. And I've been wearing them throughout my entire pregnancy. I love them. They're very, very comfortable. Um, so like I said, I wear them now, but they are nursing bras. They have a little snap here that unsnaps. So I'm packing that one. And then I have this one from Motherhood. And this is supposed to be more like a sleep one. So it's supposed to be a little bit more comfy to sleep in. And then you just kind of pull it to the side. So we will see. Um, but I have that one. And then I just have one pair of socks. I really need to find another pair to put in here. This is one thing I need to do. <laughs> before it's time because these have the grippies on the bottom, which I want for the hospital floor so I don't slip or anything. Um, but I only have one pair. I don't know where the rest of mine went, but I have that one pair packed. But I do have um, slippers here, so I'll show you. So there is this little bag that comes in the packing tubes kit and it's meant for shoes. So I'm gonna pack my slippers in there, but I'm gonna show you first. So I actually found these at Dollar General. They had black, cream and blush pink. I got the black. They are so comfortable and I don't know, they were like five to $10, maybe $10, but they are so cute and so comfortable. So I'm just gonna pack these for the hospital 
and I'm going to put them in this little shoe bag here. They fit perfectly. That way, once I wear them and then I want to pack them back in my bag, I'm not putting them up against all my other stuff since they have been worn like on the hospital floor and stuff. So I like that they can be in that bag and not touch anything else. Okay, and then just one more like oddball thing is this tripod here for my phone. Um, I think I got this on Amazon too. It kind of bends so I can like strap it to things if I want. I don't know if we're allowed to film in the hospital or not. I haven't asked. Um, and I probably won't film. I haven't decided. I'm kind of going to just go with it that day and see how I feel. I don't want to pressure myself. I want to live in the moment. I'm a very private person anyways. Um, so I'm not sure that I'm going to vlog the entire process, but I do want to try to get at least some clips for you guys to share with you that day and just so that I have to look back on. So I did bring this just in case and it has the little phone clip here and you just clip your phone um, to it. So I did bring it just in case. Um, so that's the only other like tech accessory I have. So now I'm going to show you what's inside like my bathroom bag. All right, so this is my makeup slash bathroom bag. This did not come in the set with the packing cubes. You did have to buy it separately, but they have them to match. So I do love it because it holds so much stuff. It has this pocket back here, and then when you open it up, it has a hook here so you can hang it from something in the bathroom if you need to. And then it has like this clear zipper pocket here. It has a couple of little pouches here, and then... A zipper pocket here and then the main compartment here which as you can see I have it packed plum full um so what I have in it is just I have a couple of nursing pads um or breast pads I'm probably not going to need them my milk usually comes in once I get home but you never know so I just pack them um I have my toothbrush which has this little I bought a pack of these that has a bunch of different colors and they all have their own little um protector thing so this is a brand new one and then I got a lot of this stuff on the target trap like in the target travel section so all this stuff is like a dollar or something so I got a little travel size toothpaste um and then I got so I have some baby wipes in there I don't even know why these are in there to be honest with you I don't remember why I stuck those in there, but I have baby wipes in there. And then I just have, so I packed the bare minimum for makeup just so that I could do something natural just to make myself feel presentable. Not everybody wants to wear makeup in the hospital. That's totally up to you. But I do like to, once I have the baby and I'm able to take a shower and just put a little bit of makeup on, it just makes me feel so much better. So I just packed like an eyebrow pencil, um, a makeup sponge in this nice little case to keep it safe and then I have some lip gloss well this is actually lipstick and it's the kind that does not go anywhere so like if I kiss baby or something it won't transfer onto him um, and then I have my mascara bronzer a brush um, blush and I think that's it wait I should have foundation in here too where's my foundation I have my foundation <laughs> my foundation is in there as well so that's it for makeup and then I have like a face cream because my skin is very dry and I need to moisturize it um, I have a little travel size deodorant I have little travel size shampoo and conditioner and the hospital does provide a lot of this stuff for you but like today at my doctor's appointment, she was telling me that their conditioner does is no good and to make sure that I packed like things that I'd want. So I'm, I like to have my own things. So this is for me if it's, you definitely don't have to do this because the hospital will provide pretty much everything you need, but I like having my own things. So I did pack a little loofah. I also got this at Target. Um, and then I got, let's see, what is this? Some body wash and some lotion and then I have Vaseline and this is for him I don't know why I have it in mine but this is for baby boy um, and then 
Oh, this is really neat, and I probably won't use it, but I like to have it in there anyways. I found this little travel size razor by Venus at Target. It comes in this little case, and you don't need shaving cream or anything because it kind of has it built in on the little razor thing. So I have that in there, and then I have some dry shampoo, and I have the most important... <laughs> Some makeup removing wipes and I got these at the little dollar spot at Target too to remove any makeup that way I don't have to worry about like full-on washing my face I can just quickly take it off but oh and then I just have some nipple butter in there I will definitely need this I've never tried this brand before it smells kind of funny Maddie says it smells like the hardwood hardware store like Home Depot but it's interesting so we will see um, like I said, I've never tried this brand, but I like the size of it. It fits in my bag perfectly. So I do have that in there. Oh, and I forgot I do have this in here as well. Um, it is a little mousse from Amika. I have this in the regular size. It's the plus size mousse. I have the big bottle and I love it. Like I can't live without it. So I found this on Amazon for $10.00. And if I do decide to wash and blow dry my hair, I need some sort of a product because my hair is so thin. Um, so I did want something, so I brought just that. And then I just have my hairbrush. I have a hair tie hooked to it in case I want to pull my hair up. And then they did tell me today that I'm going to need a blow dryer because they do not provide them. So I have this handy dandy old thing. Um, kind of big, but I'm going to make it work because I'll definitely need to blow dry my hair if I do wash it. So yeah, that's with everything that I just showed you is in there aside from the blow dryer. And the last thing that I have for myself is a blanket. So I have this one. This is from the Pink Lily Boutique. I got these when they were on sale, BOGO. So I got one, um, buy one, get one free. So they, I got two of these for $60. They are the best blankets ever. I use my gray one downstairs. They're so soft. They're like a barefoot dreams dupe. Um, I've never had a Barefoot Dreams, but I've heard that these are actually better. So I have a blanket, and then I do need to pack a pillow for myself and my husband, but I haven't done that yet. But they did say today that I need to bring a pillow, so I will be packing us a pillow. So when I was packing up my bag, I forgot to tell you guys that I did pack a charger for my cell phone. I got one with an extra large or an extra long cord, but you're definitely going to want a charger for your cell phone. So if you are watching my video trying to look for tips and suggestions. Don't forget your charger, that would be horrible. So I did have it hidden away in this pocket, I forgot about it. Okay, so now for baby boy's bag. So I'm gonna show you his diaper bag and everything that I have in it. So this is his diaper bag and it is the Fawn Design. And I love this bag so far. Obviously I haven't used it, but so far just packing it and touching it. Like I love how, I love how it feels. I love how comfortable it is to wear. It holds a ton of stuff, so I do love it. Um, so, okay, let's see. Let's just start in the back pocket here. I have a wet bag. This is by Skip Hop. This is just for, like, blowouts and dirty clothes. So if that were to happen, I have a little bag to put that in until we can get it home and washed. And then on the side here, I have diaper bags for like poopy diapers to put them in and then I have this little binky sanitizer so this is something that is new to me I didn't have with the girls so let me just show you just open it up and see if I can open it this is by munchkin I think I got it at Target I can't remember but you just put the binky in there and then you push the power button and it lights up I'll show you and that light comes on and it shows you that it is sanitizing. The binky is supposed to kill, I think, 99.9% .9 of germs. So I figure if he were to drop his binky on the floor or anything, I could put it in there and sanitize it. So I'm excited to have that. Um, and then I don't, I don't have anything in the front pocket. So I'm just going to open the main pocket. So this is the main pocket and it is stuffed pretty full. <laughs> So I have three outfits for him because I don't know, first of all, I don't know how long we're going to be there. You never know. Um, and then second, if he were to have an accident or something, I wanted to just have plenty. Plus I wanted like for pictures and stuff. So the first little outfit I have is this one. It just says little brother and it's like fleece. It's still pretty cold here in Tennessee. So I wanted him to have warm, cozy clothes. 
And then I have this one here, the little rhinoceros, this little rhinoceros feet. This one is cute. And then I have this little hat with the little ears. And then I have this one here with the little teddy bear and the little teddy bear feet. And then I have this little hat and this will be when he's first born and to take pictures. I love this. I got it on Etsy. So I have that and then I have one little swaddle. These are the swaddles I use with the girls. I do have a halo one, a halo sleep sack that I'm excited to try. Um, but just for the hospital, I just am bringing this one here. It is by, I can't even read the brand Swaddle Me. This is by Swaddle Me. So it's just a little basic swaddle. And then I have this really cute swaddle blanket and little gown that was sent to me by my friend Lynette Yoder here on YouTube. She actually sent this for him as a gift. So it has the little mittens. They can fold over their hands. And I figured I would try to, I'm going to try my best to swaddle him in that, possibly for his pictures. Um, and then I have a little, like, name plaque to announce his name. Um, and then, let's see, I do have a blanket in here, just a thin, like, swaddle blanket. I have that. And then I have a burp cloth. I just packed one. Hopefully that's enough. I just have a burp cloth in there and then I know oh yeah I was gonna say I know I have some little I, I call these mittens I don't know if that's what they're called but the little things that go over their hands so they don't scratch their face I do have one of those in there and then I have some baby wipes and I did pack a few diapers but the hospital will provide them but I just wanted to go ahead and put them in here anyway so they're in here um, and then I have two binkies. I have this one by Pat Pat, I think is the brand. No, this is Itsy Ritzy. This is the Itsy Ritzy binky, and this is a Wubba Nub. So I don't know. I have several different brands. These are just the two that I'm going to bring. I don't know which kind he's going to like or if he's even going to take one right away. Both of my girls did, so we'll see if he does. Um, but, yeah, that's. I think that's all I have packed for him. Let me look at his different pockets. Yep. Yeah. No, nope, that's it. That's all I've got in his bag for him. Um, and then I'm just going to bring his boppy pillow. So this is the one I got. Um, the side looks like this. Now, the special thing about this boppy pillow is the actual pillow in here is the same one I had with both my girls. I kept it after Madeline. I used it with Kinsley and I kept it with Kinsley just because I, it was very sentimental and I couldn't get rid of it. I had so many memories, never thinking in a million years that I would actually be using it for another baby, but here I am. So baby boy will get to use it as well. So all three of my kids are using the same boppy pillow, but I do have a new cover for him. All right, guys, so that's what I have in our hospital bags. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped you guys out if you are thinking about what you're going to put in your hospital bag. I know I've watched so many of these on YouTube, and I've definitely gotten a ton of ideas. Um, I will try and link everything for you that I can in the description box in case you're interested in anything. But I hope you enjoyed this. And, yeah, we're on official baby watch now. Follow me over on Instagram. That's where I will post when I'm in labor and when he's born, first pictures, all of that good stuff. So if you want to see that, then definitely follow me over there. And then I will get it over here on YouTube as soon as I possibly can. But thank you again for watching. Like I said, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.